The MRC unit in the Gambia has been here for the last 20 years and has contributed to defeating disease of public health importance in West Africa and also Sub-Saharan Africa to decrease the burden of mortality and morbidity. The unit has more than 1,000 uh, staff and the research program is divided in three teams, disease control elimination, vaccines and immunity and nutrition. For the next five years, from 2016 to 2021, we are going to focus on infectious disease of public health importance, research into maternal mortality and neonatal mortality, continue to look at nutrition and nutrition-related diseases, try to strengthen our work in non-communicable diseases, and create a much stronger alliance in West Africa, and help decreasing the high burden of mortality and morbidity in the Gambia, in West Africa, and in Sub-Saharan Africa. The disease control and elimination theme focuses on investigating what are the interactions between the host, the pathogen and the vectors. And then we design and evaluate interventions that are aimed basically at decreasing the disease burden but also community transmission that is very important. My goal is to link scientific discoveries in the laboratory to evidence-based care for women and children in West Africa. We try and achieve these goals through vaccines. We already know that vaccines save about two and a half million lives of children every year. We are aiming to do even better by conducting clinical trials of vaccines yet to be developed, such as for TB, HIV and malaria, and to, to improve the use of vaccines against pneumococcus and polio, for example. And on the other hand, conduct detailed laboratory science to investigate how the immune system of newborn babies reacts to vaccination and infection, and vaccines that might have been given to their mothers in pregnancy. Worldwide, there are about 10 million children dying every year, and very many of those are in sub-Saharan Africa. Approximately half of them are due to malnutrition. We have something rather incredible in MRC Kenabar, where we have sophisticated laboratories and a wonderful clinic right in the middle of the bush, and that allows us to do fundamental research that most other groups around the world wouldn't be able to achieve. And we hope that that's going to lead us more rapidly to next generation interventions. My department is supporting scientists delivering research to the highest ethical standards and in compliance with international guidelines. To achieve this, we are able to provide tailored project support in the areas of data management, clinical trials oversight, statistics and bioinformatics, contracts, grants and project management and research information. At the unit, we believe in robust processes and impeccable research conduct to produce world-class science with maximum impact in West Africa and beyond. What we do in laboratory services really is to support the research work that goes on here. On the whole, we have 11 facilities that make up the lab. The pride of our facility really is that we are accredited in the routine labs to ISO 15189 standards. Those labs have also been accredited to support clinical research and they have GCOP status. The clinical research platform include clinical services at Fajara and Keneba, Edward Small Francis Teaching Hospital in Banju and Sukuta. Our research is people-oriented and central to success in our research is meaningful community engagement and effective communication of crucial research information. With a large portfolio of studies investigating the role of nutrition and disease, clinical trials of maternal and newborn vaccines as well as improved diagnostics and treatment for TB, malaria, HIV and hepatitis, to mention a few. MRC Unit The Gambia is at the forefront of clinical research in the West African sub-region. Reducing the burden of preventable, maternal, newborn and child illnesses is a priority, and our research cuts across the continuum of care from pre-pregnancy, through pregnancy, childbirth, and the early days and years of life. The MRC is expanding its outreach beyond the Gambia to the West African sub-region. This is strategically important for us as it enables us to import talent and export our research in communicable and non-communicable diseases to improve health and save lives. Like any developing country, the Gambia is characterized by a dot of accurate health and demographic data to inform policy and health interventions. The unit therefore operates four health and demographic surveillance sites in the middle and eastern part of the country to generate accurate data that reflects the prevailing burden of disease and mortality in the country. 
as well as to serve as platforms for epidemiological studies that require long-term follow-up of study participants. The TB case contact study in the Gambia aimed to study all TB patients and their family members. We focus on defining biomarkers for correlates of protection, diagnostics, therapeutic response, and to discover novel vaccine in TB. We collaborate with the National TB Program. This gives us opportunity to understand the social determinants, the epidemiology, and genetics of TB transmission in the community. We in operations are like the engine of this organization that really uh, makes uh, the machine running and makes the science uh, happen. We are a team of professionals, uh, engineers, uh, technicians, human resources, accountants, that we really work to ensure that science happens in the best way possible here in Fajara, in Basse and in Keneva. Our region is bold, but we know we can do it because we can attract high caliber scientists. We are going to continue to train junior scientists to be kind of that caliber. We have excellent technical platforms. Ultimately, we'll be able to maintain our uh, position of leader in global health research.